When Amber Larkin's son Noah was diagnosed with pediatric brain cancer five years ago this week, she became a patient advocate and a momcologist, I love that name, for her one patient. We are proud to have her here with us today to tell us about her fight for a cure. Welcome to our show, Amber. Thank you. Thank We're you for so having me. We're so happy to have you. <laughs> this is a great story. We'd love you to kind of give our viewers a little bit of background. If you could take us back five years ago, mm -hmm. your son Noah, eight years old, um, you thought he had a stomach bug, some symptoms of a headache, nausea, yep. and then it turned out to be something else. It did. He was uh, six years old at the time. And like any normal day, we're getting ready for breakfast and doing dishes and packing lunches. And he says, hey, mom, bleh. He wow. throws up okay. all over the floor. And I was like, buddy, are you okay? And he was like, I feel fine. And it was two days before Halloween. So I okay. thought, you know what? We'll run by the pedi pediatrician's office mm -hmm. to make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And just check that out because we're trick-or-treating in two days. Yeah. Um, go to the pediatrician. She's like, school's back in. You know, things are going around, stomach bugs, normal stuff. And I said, but he had a headache. And I said, kids don't get headaches. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It was weird. And she said, Amber, you want like an MRI or something? And she saw that mom look. And I said, <laughs> I do. And we didn't even leave her office. I made the appointment. They said, you know, uh, put me on hold for a long time. And they said, we have 8.30 tonight. And I was like, let's go. Okay. MRI, 8.30 at night. They told me to wait around. 11.30, they walk in and take me out in the hall and say your son has brain cancer wow so in you know the seven hours <laughs> wow look at this photo right we went from stomach bug to brain cancer in hours well i don't even know how you attempt to play catch up with that but <laughs> yeah. i mean as one would think this led to the road of okay now it's time to talk treatment yeah what can we it do did. so on your road you discovered something it's called personalized cell therapy mm -hmm. and then you assembled a team of doctors and researchers from around the world did. why did you have to do this and what exactly was your idea for treatment my thing was you know we started down the road of normal radiation and chemo chemotherapy and i was watching what it was doing to these children and it was brutal yeah. And, and honestly, they weren't sure if it was working or not, you know, but it's the best thing that was available. I started researching and found these personalized cell therapies, basically using your immune system to fight the cancer. And that just set me on my, my trail to find something new and different for these children. So this wasn't approved in the U.S.? You had to go elsewhere? I went around the world. I went to Paris, Dubai, uh, France, wow. just interviewing doctors okay. and um, ended up, did come, I came back and they were doing um, some of these therapies, actually experimental, not even therapies yet, just research at MD Anderson Houston in right. Texas. So the wow. exciting thing though is that it's no longer experimental. So tell us yes. what happened recently. Recently we just got the go ahead from the FDA to open this wow. as a full phase one trial. Originally That's Noah awesome. was supposed to be the first. Yeah. And then it was going to be opened as phase one trial, and um, but now it is opened. And you know, most of the uh, you know big cancer societies traditionally, you know, between one penny and three pennies goes to pediatric cancer research. Mm -hmm. And you know, this being open is something new and something different using your body's immune system. Right. And uh, we have a video. This yeah. is my favorite part. <laughs> that video. Can we bring that video up again, guys? What you maybe you can mm -hmm. kind of explain what we were yeah. seeing there. Right there, what you're seeing, those little white cells that you see bouncing around mm -hmm. are the reprogrammed NK cells. We all have them in our body. There are yeah. white blood cells. And the other thing you're seeing are big green cells. They've been dyed green so we can see them. And those are pediatric cancer cells. Those are brain cancer cells. Wow. wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's my Look favorite them part. Okay. Once you the see. The cancer cells. Yeah, I mean, they are attacking. <laughs> And basically like Pac-Man, they're just going in there and you know eating what? this and, and killing it. And here's the thing, it. you talk amazing. about people saying, well, this is it's just new and unknown and experimental. Well, every treatment we've ever yeah. had for right. any disease right. had, to, had be to be new when it first right. started. Right. I can't understand how people can't be a little more open-minded mm -hmm. to trying something new. We just yeah. need you something know? new, less toxic. I mean, everybody has been affected by cancer, I think at this point, whether it's right. a family member, you know, breast cancer, anything. You know, this is translational medicine. This could be used for any type of cancer eventually. Well, I want to yeah. make sure we have time to get to this because, yep. unfortunately, you did lose Noah two years I did. ago. Yes. But you continue to fight. You're raising money through Noah's Light Foundation. Mm -hmm. What does the foundation do? How can people at home help out? The foundation funds this type of research, okay. and we. I am super honored to be uh, nominated for the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award. And if I win, that's a, which yay. is amazing. <laughs> that's the 
the NASCAR humanitarian. Yes, it is. Okay. And um, we need people to vote, vote, vote because it's on voting. It's on our website, noahslightfoundation.org okay. or uh, nascar.com uh, slash awards. And um, it's $100,000 that Whoa. can go straight That's to this amazing. protocol. It's all right. about awareness. awareness. Yeah. And yeah. let me mention, I want to thank you for coming on our show. Our challenge today, mm -hmm. every day we ask our viewers to do something. We're wanting people to find the positivity yeah. after a tragedy. What's your advice? We only have about 30 seconds, but maybe there's some knowledge or oh, wisdom you could give. You know what? Um, every day, don't ask why. Why did this happen? Why, why, why? That's wallering. Yeah. You ask what? What am I supposed to learn from this? Yep. What do mm -hmm. I do tomorrow with this? What can I... How can I turn this around? And I that's what I do. I ask what? What can I do with this? And you are a living example of that. This yes, is the you. best example of a reframe. Yeah. We say it all the time, Seriously. but reframing, and that's what you've done. I it's like pretty it. amazing. I like Amber it Larkin, thank, thank you, you so much. No, and thank you. you said it was Noah's Light Foundation.org, correct? It is. Absolutely. Make sure you guys go there. Make sure you get informed and do something. Thank you for watching our show. We'll see you next time on Emotional Mojo.